In this video, I want to show you how to make a scatter plot graph. Now, a scatter plot graph shows the relationship between two variables. So, for example, let's say we're measuring students and we measure their height and we measure their foot size. And we want to know, like, what's the relationship between a height of a student and their foot size? Or we could say, let's measure their height and their body mass. And is there a relationship between their height? and body mass. And is it a positive relationship? Is it a negative relationship? Or is there no relationship at all? So to do that, we're going to create a scatter plot. So let's start with height and foot size. So I want to just take all my data that I put in my data table and go all the way down and highlight all of this. I've got quite a few 35 students. And then I want to go, I can go to over here to insert graph, or I can go over here to this icon over here where it says insert chart. I'm sorry, chart, not graph. On Google Sheets, it's, it uses the term chart. So I'm going to just go to this insert chart over here. I'm going to click on it. And there it is. Okay, now mine automatically went to a scatter plot. So I can see this relationship here. And they, you can see I can probably estimate a best fit line in there. But if we went up and we maybe it's going to try to give you a bar graph or something. So the first thing you need to do is go in the setup submenu under chart type. Make sure you select scatter chart, right? Not bar graph, not line graph, not pie chart, but a scatter chart. Okay. And once you've got that, you can see it already put it figured out since I highlighted my headers of height and foot size, it already put those in, okay? Now, if you do it and it doesn't, that's fine. You can just go over here to Customize, and you can go to Chart and Axis Titles. And if I click down on that, I can go, so Vertical Axis Title, I can, it's already put it in, but if it didn't, you could put yours in. If you wanted to put your, um, title for your chart. You could do chart title and then I could, it went ahead and put the foot size versus height and I could change that or modify that as needed. Okay. And, um, or the horizontal axis, right? I can, you can see it's already put in the height in centimeters. Okay. And I could say student body height, or I could change that as needed. Okay. But I've got my two axes labeled. Now, one thing I don't like about the scatter plot chart, notice it's going from zero to 40, but most of my values are lying between 20 and 30. Okay. So what I'd like when I make a chat, uh, any kind of graph is I like my data points to fill up as much of the graph as possible. I don't like all this white space down here or this white space up here. So I want to scale it. Scaling means I'm going to spread my points out to fill up as much of the graph as possible. Okay, so I, I'm not going to use that menu, but I'm going to go over here. Notice on my um, horizontal axis, I'm pretty well spread out on that. So I don't need to do anything with a horizontal axis, but the vertical axis, I'm all bunched up here and I want to try to kind of spread it out a little bit. So I'm going to go to my vertical axis and I'm going to drop down there. And then uh, you can see I've got a minimum and maximum value. Okay. So you can see I don't have any values below 20. Okay. So I want to say my minimum value, I'll make 20. And it, I think it just suggests it. Okay. And my maximum value, I don't need to go anything above 35. So, uh, in fact, let's go with 32. Okay. Now you can see I've really done a nice job of scaling my graph so that I've spread all my data points around the graph pretty well. Okay. And when I put a best fit line in here, you can see I'm probably going to get something that looks like a positive slope, okay? So that's what I want to do right now. Let's go back and let's close the vertical axis and let's go to series. Now series is where I can then kind of take all of my data points and do some things with them. So in the series submenu, I'm going to come down and I want to go to trend line and I want to put a trend line in there. And you can see that what it's done is it's, it's put a line in here that says close as possible to every one of these points. So this trend line is sort of the, the line that is closest to 
every possible point. You can see I do have some outliers from that trend line, but for the most part, most of my data points fall pretty close to that trend line, okay? So now what I want to know is I want to, there's something called an R value, or an R, sometimes an R squared value, which is a correlation value. And what that means is if all my points are perfectly aligned on this trend line, that value is going to be a plus one, okay? If they're scattered kind of randomly and they're not, they don't seem to be close at all to it, I'm going to get an R squared value of about zero. So zero means no correlation, one means perfect correlation, straight line, all the points, right? And then if I get a negative one, that means I'm getting a negative correlation, right? So maybe like negative slope going down. As one go gets higher, the other gets smaller, okay? So um, to do that, I want to go down here. I'm, I'm still, again, in the series, I'm still in the series submenu, but I'm going to go down below trend line, and I'm going to be able to, there it is, click on show R squared value. This is the correlation value. Again, one, very high correlation, zero, no correlation. Negative one, very strong negative correlation, okay? So you can see it's got a uh, value of 0.5. So again, one is really high, zero is, no, is, is none. So you can see I've got some correlation there, okay? And this is really something we can use to compare different variables, okay? So for example, I'm gonna move this graph over, and that's, again, foot size versus height from my first chart here. So I can see that there's a, correlation there, 0.5 R value. So, but is it a stronger correlation or a weaker correlation to height, student height, and student body mass? And again, kilograms here. So um, I can do the same thing with this data. And I can see if I have a positive correlation, and then if I have, if that correlation, if that R value is closer to one or closer to zero. So I've just highlighted all that data. And I'm going to go ahead and, again, I could go to insert chart there, or I can go over here to this, this little icon here. I can click on insert chart. And here's my new graph. And you can see uh, I have what looks to be a positive correlation as well. Okay. So on this one, um, notice I don't have any values lower than like, you know, 30 or 35. So I could rescale this one too. I have noticed one at 100, so I could even scale it to greater than 100 because I don't like any points that are off my graph. So um, let's do that first. So let's go up here and I'm sorry, into customize. And let's go to, again, my horizontal axis looks pretty good. I've scaled from zero to 190. I'm, I'm pretty well uh, stretched out on, on that one. Uh, but let's go to the um, vertical axis and let's go down here to minimum value. And let's say the minimum value is going to be, I don't know, 35. And maximum value, let's go to 105. Okay. So now you can see all my data points are on my graph and they're, and they're spread out and I, I don't have a lot of blank space. Okay, and I can also see a best fit line is probably going to be something positive here. And my points all look like they could be pretty close to it. Okay, so I'm going to close that vertical axis submenu, and I'm going to go again to the series menu, and I'm going to open up the series, and uh, it popped up there in series. Notice I can change the color, I can do some other things, change the point size and all that stuff, but really I want to just put a, print, a trend line in here, okay? And there's my trend line. Again, that's what the Google Sheet has said. This line is the closest possible line to all the points on my graph, okay? And now I want to know, okay, it's clearly a positive correlation. So as height increases, body mass increases, that makes sense. As you grow taller, your mass increases. Okay, so there should be no surprise there. But now let's see how strong is that correlation. Okay, and now we can see up here, the, core, the R squared value is 0.573. So that's higher than foot size. So as you grow, it's your body mass grows more proportional to your height, 
then does your foot size. And that's kind of interesting because sometimes I see, you know, adolescents and they have like huge feet and they're like this person that's not quite that tall, but they have like size 12 feet and they're going to grow into those feet. So it's kind of interesting to, to be able to take data and draw these kinds of conclusions about two variables. And so this is how you can create a scatter plot graph to show a, cor a correlation between two variables and, uh, and calculate an R squared value, which tells you how strong that correlation is. And that's it for this video.